hello pray and share warriors how are y'all doing I'm listening to music and my wireless earbuds one of them wasn't working a while ago I don't know how long they stay charged anyway I hope you had an awesome day today is Thursday I had a pretty good day I don't feel real good today I think all this wind is blowing stuff around and so on my video for uh, YouTube I have all these little things blowing around because <laughs> I think that uh, wind really causes all that stuff to blow around and uh, Seth is sick today too and um, I don't know this happens every spring though so tonight I want to talk to you about um, the glory of God specifically these words uh, let your glory fall so let your glory fall God fall on us fall all around us you know really all we have to do is I complain about spring but it really is pretty outside with everything budding and the grass is greening up and the trees are greening up and our cold dark winter is over and it's springtime but it's already hot I'm already running my air conditioner because I just I don't like to sweat I'm not a sweating person I don't like that so anyway let's jump into some prayer I'm listening to Waymaker I just got through listening to um, great things by Phil Wickham I'm listening to Waymaker by Leland and uh, this is kind of my list that I used with youth so I thought I'd listen to it tonight and kind of try to figure out their favorites and put them in order uh, because I have a lot of songs in there okay well let's go ahead and pray so that's most important right now God we just come to you and we just thank you God we thank you that you do show us your glory that your glory does reign on us and God, that you are on your throne and you are in control, God, and that there is nothing, there's absolutely nothing hidden from you. People think that they hide things from you, but they do not. You know everything, God. You know everything. So we thank you for being our creator, our sustainer, our protector, our provider. And God, for just being that shelter that we need in the storm for letting us hide under your wings at times. God, we thank you because we know that you will be the righteous judge that will come and judge all the unrighteous. But God, we know that you are loving and kind and compassionate, forgiving, patient, and you keep all your promises. You are faithful, God. You are worthy of all of our glory, honor, and praise that we turn back to you. God, we just pray. <clears throat> we pray for the lost, God. We just lift them up to you. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray, God, that you would soften their hearts. We pray that you would be very real to them that you would show yourself that you would show your glory to them God we pray for the prodigals that they would come back we just pray that they would repent and return to you God we pray for all these disasters that are going on it just seems like every day there's a shooting God we just pray that you would be with these people and you would be with their families God many many deceased in all these shootings um, in the last two months God we just pray that you would be with them we just pray for all truth in these situations to rise up above any deceit or any lies that are in uh, that are within these situations God but we pray that these families would be comforted and that the ones injured would be healed God we just also pray for um, all the people that have lost loved ones God we just pray for peace comfort and strength 
and uh, we pray that they would feel your presence, God. That they would seek your presence through your word, through prayer, and through praise. You are a way maker, God, and we are thankful. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Right, Waymaker is one of my favorite songs. It's just, I don't know, it's just so good. I like the end of it, though. Having a hard time finding um, a version of it that has the ending in it that's not too long. We try not to do really long videos because we do three. All right, well, let's talk about God's glory. And I did have time to number these today, which... Um, Quite excited about and all of these look like they're really good that they really are going to go with this um, topic sometimes they don't go as well as I would like for them to but I kind of look through these and they I am familiar with them okay so yesterday I woke up with the thought let your glory fall then I started a conversation with our youth minister about going to a concert. And the concert is Carrie Job and her husband Cody Carnes. And so it just so happened that when I put into YouTube, Let Your Glory Fall, I knew there was a song. I just didn't know who sang it. That is a Carrie Job song. And so this is what I wrote. I wrote it today. I meant to read it yesterday, but I mean write it yesterday, but I didn't. I don't know. My day went really fast yesterday. So uh, I'm going to read it now. So yesterday morning, this title of this song uh, were the first words on my mind. I love this song and message by Carrie Job. So many people need to see the glory of God. God is so powerful. We talked about last night how God's word is truth, how God's laws want the best for us. He wants to be present in every part of our lives. His glory is seen every day in his very present creation. Seth and I are experiencing some Texas allergies of spring. I woke up with a splitting headache and my eyes are itching and running a bit. But I did take something and mine is better. But you have to sneak stuff into Seth. And he didn't want to eat today, so I'm hoping I can sneak something in later. Because he really needs some allergy medicine. Um, today, my thoughts of the day. Salvation is key. I believe to this spiritual battle we face today. So that was my thought today. Salvation is key. So the more people that are saved, the more the loving compassion of Jesus will come forth. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is pretty dry. God wants to do great, glorious things in our lives, but we must accept His Son Jesus as our Savior. He wants to draw us, draw us close to Him, not to be a dictator from heaven, but for divine protection from the evil in this world. He wants us to humbly come into His presence daily through reading His Word, thanking Him, praying to Him, and praising Him. Please call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Time is running out for free will choosing. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Okay. So that is what I wrote today. I'm talking about the glory of God and talking about salvation is key. And so when I did my quiet time, God kind of shared some things with me about that people that are not saved cannot truly see his glory because they don't have the spiritual eyes to see God's glory. So let's get into some scripture. Let 
I don't lose that little thing. Really like my wireless earbuds. I can move, I can do all kinds of things, and um, it doesn't fall out. And I don't get caught up in the wires either. Okay, so let's go to uh, Matthew, Matthew 24, and I've been th I've been talking about Matthew 24 a lot on some comments on uh, YouTube because I am seeing Matthew 24 unfold before us. But let's read instead of reading all of Matthew 24, which we have done that before. Let's read Matthew 24, 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So that's going to be Jesus at the end of the tribulation. When he comes and he fights against all the kings, against all the evil in the world, that is going to be what people see. And they will mourn because they will see that they've been deceived and that they were not told the truth. And uh, this is not the rapture. This is when he comes back. Because when the rapture happens, it's going to be so fast. Many people that are not saved are not even going to realize what happened. They're just going to wonder where people went. And so many people will buy into the lies and the deception that will be told at that time. I don't know what they're going to use. I've, I've seen several movies where they've used several things. Um, but the truth is that we will be with Jesus. So don't buy into their lies. And please get saved now while you can. While you don't have to choose. And go through what they have planned for people that choose. Okay. Well enough of that. Well, let's move on to the next scripture, which is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, John 1.14. Listening to Greater by Mercy Me now. And you know I'm listening to music when I'm moving because I can't be still when there's music on. I'm either moving my chair side to side or a move in because I just I so connect spiritually to all this music that I listen to. Okay, so John 1 14 And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld His glory. See Jesus He had glory too when He was here. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. So Jesus, he was the glory here on earth for the apostles, for all the people that saw him, for all the people that he healed, all the people that he helped, everyone that he came in contact with. Even some of the soldiers, you know, realized who Jesus was. Okay. Let's move on to John 17, 1 through 26. Which is quite a bit. That's the whole thing. It's the, the whole thing, but it, it talks about glory a lot in here. Okay. So, John 17, 1 through 26 says this. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, 
that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, in Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee in on the earth, I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do, and now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Before the world was. Do you know that Jesus and the Holy Spirit were at creation? They were there before anything was created they were with God and that's just another another sentence that you know says that before the world was I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world thine they were and thou gavest the them me and they have kept thy word now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep thou thine own name, those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as you, as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled and that's Judas he's the betrayer and now come I to thee and these things I speak you know that might be Satan I don't know that might be Satan and now come I to thee and these things I speak in the world that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves I have given them thy word and the world hath hated them because they are not of this of the world even as I am not of the world I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil they are not of the world even as I am not of the world sanctify them through thy truth thy word is truth as thou hast sent me into the world even so I also sent them into the world and for their sakes I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth neither pray I for these alone but for them also which shall believe on me through their word that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I am in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, and that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Again, Jesus was there before the foundation of the world. He was with God. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. So all this time he is talking about his apostles that he's fixing to leave. 
because it is not long before the Passover and um, he gets arrested that he is talking to God about that glorify your son glorify your son and take care of these that I cannot take care of anymore because I'm not going to be physically on the earth anymore with them to watch out for them so that is pretty powerful I like that um, and I know I've read it before but there's just some things that stuck out to me this time about twice it talks about Jesus being with God before the world was and before the foundations of the world and just the just the him calling out to God asking him to protect these apostles that God himself chose for for this plan and purpose to further the kingdom of God God chose them God chose us too to further the kingdom of God we are called to further the kingdom of God also these guys they were with Jesus and they were in the battle with Jesus against the evil we are Jesus is with us, not here on this earth, but with us. And um, we are still in a spiritual battle. One that won't end until Jesus comes to get us. Then our spiritual battle will end. And our corrupt body will be made perfect. Okay, so let's see what is uh, the fourth one. Romans 3.23 Now I'm listening to Reckless Love by Corey Asbury. Okay. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God because we are not, we do not have the glory of God. We see the glory of God but we are not the glory of God. Um, and we have all sinned and come short of that glory. But through Jesus, through what Jesus did for us, we are forgiven. And we are invited into the kingdom of heaven through what Jesus did. Not because we are any type of glorified nothing, like through Jesus. Without Jesus, we are nothing. Through Jesus, we are part of the kingdom. We are invited into the kingdom. We are accepted into the kingdom. You know, a lot of people are looking for acceptance. You know, get saved through Jesus and you will be accepted into a kingdom. God's kingdom. The highest kingdom ever. Okay, so let's look at Romans 8.18 and see what it has to say. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. So, you all like Romans 8. It has so much good stuff in it. Because uh, I like 17 also. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, and that may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So one day, one day we will have, um, we will be full of glory too because we will be in that perfected body in that perfected place like to where nothing nothing can taint our joy our peace our love our compassion the things that we should have going on all the time the things of the world uh, interrupt that 
but when we are in that perfected body nothing will interrupt that and we will have no illness and we will have no pain and we will have no um, allergies no allergies in heaven praise Jesus that's another good thing about heaven is that there won't be no allergies because Texas has her allergies are not great and I take allergy medicine every day, and so does Seth. But this time of year, there's just something out there, especially with the wind blowing so hard like it was on Tuesday. We were both out there, and um, anyway. Okay, let's go to 2 Corinthians 3.18. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. So we will, we will have that glorified body. We will have that perfect body. Um, our spirit and our body will be as one perfected body one glorified body so um, yeah that's something else to look forward to all right so let's go to Hebrews 1 3 you know anytime you want to put something in the comments and you want to go oh hey what about this scripture or what about that scripture then just please put it in the comments feel free okay so Hebrews 1 who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high that's Jesus. Jesus ascended to the right hand side of God after he um, resurrected, showed himself to hundreds of people besides the apostles, and then ascended into heaven to the right hand side of God. So, and he is in his glory. And he will come back and get us one day. And they call that the glorious appearing of Jesus. I think that's in First Peter. We might look it up too. Unless I forget. So Jesus Christ, Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Um, is that right? 13.8. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever, be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats which have not profited them, that have been occupied therein. Okay, that's one of those that I don't know. Um, I guess it's glorious that Jesus doesn't change, that he's always the same. Okay, so let's go to 1 John 1.5. <clears throat> I'm re I really apologize about my throat. My throat does not hurt, but Seth says that his does. So I may try to fix him some hot chocolate because he won't drink hot tea and lemon. He won't drink the things that I will. Like I, I have some lemonade mix. I'll stick it in the microwave and make it all warm and uh, put some honey in it and I'll drink that but he won't he's so picky okay so first John 1 5 says this then is the message which we have heard of him 
and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Wow, I see that a lot. I see that a lot with people that claim they are walking with Jesus, but they're not. They're walking in darkness because they're walking in sin. They are not walking with Jesus. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. Okay, so let's move on to First Timothy. Oops, got to go back the other way. You know what? I think I want to read First Peter if I can find it. That's not it. It may be in Second Peter. Oh my! Lost teachers. Oh, you know what? I think it's in Titus, actually, that I'm looking for. Let me go ahead and continue what I was doing. Okay, 1 Timothy. Let me go back to 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy 2.5 says this. Five. Oh, that's the sun. First Timothy two five. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Jesus Christ, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Whereunto I or I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Christ, and he, and lie not. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. So, um, there is one God and one mediator, and that is Christ Jesus. And he gave himself as a ransom for all. To be testified in due time so that is what Jesus did for us let me see if I can find that in Titus I think it is uh, I find that the more I do this the more I'm learning about the Bible I might even someday know where everything is located which would be pretty cool Oh, there we are. There's Titus. Uh. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Okay, Titus 2.13. Looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. It's going to be a glorious appearing when Jesus is in the clouds and when he comes and gets us. And um, let's move on to some scriptures of Revelation. Which I really like Revelation. I like especially the end of Revelation. That's all the good stuff. Okay. Uh, Revelation 1-7 says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. So Jesus is going to come in the clouds and every eye shall see him. Even the ones that pierced him. 
and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Because in that instant, they're going to realize that that is Jesus. And that all the things that they have said about him is false. All the blasphemy they will pay for. Everything that they have done, they will pay for. Unless they repent. Because all through Revelation, God is calling people back to him. So we are not the righteous judge. So we don't know when God is going to go, okay, I've had enough. Like, like, I don't think I can take you back. We don't know. And so we just invite everyone. And only God knows hearts and minds and commitments that people have made. Um, so we just keep inviting people. So let's read Revelation 4, 8. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. So this is the glory. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying thou art worthy O Lord to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created so this is glory this is massive glory in revelation this is glory that we've never seen here on earth because earth is not heaven it's not we can bring some heaven down and we can have the presence of God or Jesus or the Holy Spirit or all three at the same time but we haven't tasted heaven until we get to heaven okay so let's read Revelation 21 11 through 23 I think we read part of this last night um, 11 says having the glory of God and her light was like unto a stone most precious even like a jasper stone clear as crystal and had a wall great and high and had twelve gates and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed. Twelve thousand furlongs, the length and breadth and the height of it were equal. And he measured the wall thereof in hundred and forty-four cubits, according to the measure of a man. That is of the angel. In the building of the wall of it was jasper, and the city was pure gold, likened to clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, 
the fourth, an emerald, the fifth, sardon sardonyx, the sixth, sardius, the seventh, chrys chrysolite, the eighth, beryl, the ninth, topaz, the tenth, a chrysoprasus, and the eleventh, a jacinth, and the twelfth, an amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each several gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor unto it, into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it, and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth. Neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. So everyone whose name is written in the Lamb's book of life will be with God and Jesus forever. In the description of this awesome, perfect city. <laughs> daughter she'll probably get mad at me okay so that is our scripture and so I keep wanting to say show me your glory let your glory fall so God let your glory fall on this earth let people see your glory we know the ultimate glory is going to be when we get to heaven that will be our ultimate glory so I'm going to do a really short, i got to call my daughter back, and so I'm going to do a really short salvation message tonight. So this is like from our if thing that we went to a couple of years ago. Do you know the ABCs of life? God created you to experience a full life here on earth, John 10.10, 10, and he wants you to spend eternity with him, 2 Peter 3.9. To become a Christian, you simply need to admit you need a Savior. We've all disobeyed God. We've sinned and earned separation from God, which is death. Romans 3.23, uh, Romans 6.23. We read Romans 3.23 tonight. Yes, we did. No matter how good you are or how hard you try, you can't work your way into heaven. Ephesians 2.8-9. Believe in Jesus Christ, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 So commit your life to Christ. You can believe in your mind that Jesus exists, but to have a relationship with him, you must ask him to be your Lord here on earth and your Savior eternally. Romans 10, 9 says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So, um, sorry, I just, so this is the prayer. It's a really short one. It's not the prayer that saves you, it's the belief in Jesus. So Jesus, I have sinned. Thank you for dying for me so I could be forgiven. I trust you alone for eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So if you said that prayer, or you could say your own prayer if you wanted to. Then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified.
by God through Jesus his son today is your spiritual birthday so happy spiritual birthday okay if you want to only not if you want to you need to spend some time reading God's word every day um, start in Matthew and pray pray to God and praise God develop a relationship with your Savior learn who your Savior is start your Christianity journey because it's a journey okay well I'm gonna do the blessing and I'm gonna get off of here and call my daughter and she's been going through some things so anyway okay so the Lord bless thee and keep thee the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace and I did not read my notes for today but I don't know maybe I will tomorrow okay so let's go ahead and pray and uh, just ask God to show us his glory for his glory to fall on us many people just don't they don't see God for who he is I want to read this anyway I don't think it's very long it's just some good he had some good thoughts that I want to share so good morning God good morning child I brought you to I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings child the new opportunity to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus a new day to get things done a new beautiful day child use it well I said thank you God for a new day of mercies and blessings new opportunity to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus a new day to get things done a new beautiful day thank you for all my blessings God I am crying out for favor for my family today I'm also crying out for protection also and eyes to open eyes open to truth also and he said child many things are taking place today and every day this week so there will be a climax to the plans on both sides my perfect will is done also I am sovereign over all I do see the the blatant evil sins and the blasphemy against me my son in the Holy Spirit I see and hear it all my anger is rising towards the evil and the evil one that they follow their days are numbered by me Sorry, that got paused. Okay, um, I see in here all day my anger. Okay, I already read that. Their days are numbered. My wrath will come and rain down uh, on the evil in my perfect timing. I'm giving all a chance to come into a relationship with me through Jesus, my son. Time is running out to choose, and that is why, above all else, Salvation is the key to seeing all get better. So keep sharing my truths and on Wednesday pre-record and stay on task. Share my truths every day, child. Expand your ministry, child. Quit uh, waiting and get it done. People cannot have open eyes and ears until they have been saved to have spiritual eyes and ears by salvation through Jesus. People that are not saved do not have an open heart to my truth. They cannot see or understand my glory aside from salvation through Jesus. Child, so many need to come, so keep sharing my truth in my word, which cuts to the heart in the gospel of Jesus too, child. And I said, okay, God, I will do what you ask, and I will be obedient to my calling from you to share. I will pre-record on Wednesdays and Sundays too. 
I will try my best not to miss any more days. Thank you for meeting me today and encouraging me to expand the ministry and calling that you have blessed me with. Please continue to teach me your ways, God. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient to me today. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready. Keep sharing with others. Do everything as if you were doing it for me because you are. It will be so wonderful to see all of my children again here and safe from all evil. And I said Maranatha God. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick prayer because my daughter is trying to get a hold of me. God, we just come to you and we just thank you, God. We thank you that we do see your glory because we do have the spiritual eyes and ears that you have given us through Jesus. We just pray that for all, all God, for all people, that they would get saved through Jesus. Help us to be bold in sharing your truths and bold in sharing the gospel of Jesus. Thank you, God, for everyone who comes and watches this. Just please bless them, protect them, and provide for them and their whole families, God, abund abundantly. And uh, again, we pray for the lost, God. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus. And also, we pray for the prodigals to come home. God, help us to be more like Jesus and a lot less like us. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. All right. Well, I am uh, have an awesome rest of your evening and awesome tomorrow. God bless you all and your families abundantly. Much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.